library. It's a place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Milton Wordsworth. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Come and be a story. Welcome, one and all, Milton Wordsworth, story maker and magical maestro, at your service. Vegetables. Vegetables? You want to make stories about vegetables? Yes, the children were reading about vegetables in this book. Oh, yes. vegetables mm. sound really exciting. Yeah. <laughs> exciting? Vegetables exciting? Ooh. Yes, I'd love to meet a runner bee. <gasps> or a sweet corn. I present to you... A runner bee. Oh, oops. <gasps> Better hold on to that. He's trying to run away. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Are there any more vegetables in there? A large assortment, dear lady. Aha. <gasps> wow. wow. Vegetables. They look delicious, mm. Milton. Oh, well. Uh... Oh, don't you like vegetables, Milton? Mm, I've never been that fond of them. But, but they oh. look so delicious. Yes. H have you got a sweet corn? Yes, sweet corn's here. Can we put it into the story machine to make a story? It's worth a try. Ooh. Now we need a special ingredient. <laughs> this is where we need your help. Hands up. Imagine, 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 imagine a story. <gasps> it's a playbook. It's called Theo's Allotment. Ooh, what's that? Inquire within. Theo has an allotment. That's a place where people grow vegetables and fruit. It's a bit like a garden, but lots of people share it. Theo shares his allotment with his dad and a friendly frog who lives in the compost heap. Hello, froggy. The allotment keeps them very busy, especially in the summertime, because everything grows so fast. Theo decides to check the sweet corn. It's bigger than me. Dad shows him where the corn cobs are growing. He thinks they're ready to eat. Theo likes corn so much, he eats it raw. It tastes very sweet. He fills up the watering can and waters the lettuces. They need plenty of water to grow. Soon they'll be ready to eat. Now for some digging. What's growing in this bed? Lots of potatoes. Theo's never dug potatoes before. Hmm, what else needs doing? They pick the runner beans. They are very big. And some peas. They taste good too. So do the raspberries. Lots of things grow on an allotment. But 
but soon it's time to go home with all their fruit and vegetables. Goodbye, Froggy. Dad had a great day helping Theo at his allotment. <laughs> Could use that runner bean for a mouse. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Put it there. Hmm. Cool. Oh, and these potatoes can be the ears. Yes. Mm. Hmm. Oh, they grow in the ground, you know. I mm. know. I saw the story too. Oh, there. Ah, mm. a vegetable clown. It looks very tasty, doesn't it? Mm. Mm. Uh, well, um, oh, perhaps you'd like to eat a radish. Look, there's oh. some more there. Go on. Uh, <laughs> no thanks, oh pink one. I think I'll just get on with making the story. Oh. Maybe something about a clown. Oh. Are you ready? Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. It's a Jack Spratt and Treacle cat story. Circus skills. Jack Spratt and Treacle Cat lived in a bin. A bin that people drop rubbish in. While Treacle dreams, Jack Spratt schemes. What will Jack Spratt make today? Hello there down below. How am I doing, Treacle, my old mate? Oh, I think I'm about to lose my balance. Watch out! Oh, oh, oh. Do you think you should be doing this, Jack? <laughs> Too right, mate. I've told you, Treacle, I've got to practice my skills if I want to join the circus. Oh, dear. I can't see you in the big top somehow. Oh, yeah? I'm going to join a travelling troupe and see the world. Hey, watch this. Hey, top-tastic, innit? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh. That's no better than your tightrope walking. Face it, Jack, you haven't got what it takes to be a circus celebrity. <laughs> uh, oh, watch out. Better scarper. <laughs> haven't got what it takes, eh? Just you wait and see. I'm going to knock myself up a pair of stilts. Hmm? Stilts? Yeah, that's what the rat said. Out of that pile of old junk. <laughs> oh, tickle my whiskers, that'll be the day. I'd better go and see what he's up to. Jack? Jack, Jack, are you still in one piece? Oh, I'm a bit dizzy up here. <laughs> you look like the right miniature moggy down there. Hey, you've got to look up to me now, haven't you, Treacle? Oh, you've got your head <laughs> in the clouds, Jack. Just watch it. Pride comes before a fall. Cheesy nibbits, you've put me off me balance, you stupid stripey stunge bag. Yeah. Oh, gee, not again. You've got to face it, Jack. You're just not cut out for the circus. Oh, Treagle, me leg needs bandaging. I've stubbed me snout, me bottom's all bruised, I ache all over. Oh. <laughs> Jack, you could join the circus after all. You'd make a great clown. It's the perfect job for you. <laughs> Very funny. Oh. <laughs> oh, poor old Jack Spratt. Mm. I love him, you know. Jackson? You've almost eaten the whole of that vegetable clown. Oh. Mm. Mm. These vegetables are delicious. I can't understand why you don't like them, Milton. Mm. Why don't you try a little bit of broccoli? Mm. Nope. I've never tried broccoli and I never will. Uh, uh, I think I've got a few jobs to be getting on with. You know, stories to make. Oh. Hmm. Hey, Jackson, I've mm. got a really good idea. Let's play a trick mm. on Milton. Let's find something really tasty to make a story about. What food do you like? Pizza? A perfect pizza. Mmm, a veritable feast. <laughs> Milton, Milton, we've got a present yes. for you. Oh, Ooh. thank you, dear ones. Uh, maybe I'll save it till after the story. <laughs> oh. Now we'll need a large helping of imagination. 
Imagine, imagine, imagine the story. Blue Cow goes to a restaurant. In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue Cow wonders, wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue Cow was looking at the grass in her field, delicious green gobbly grass. I wonder if there's any food in the world as tasty as grass. She's off again, said the other cows. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a return ticket to a place full of food, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for a foodie place. And then they arrived. When Blue Cow got off the bus, she could hardly believe her eyes. In front of her was a great big restaurant. Inside there were lots of tables that all looked the same. A waiter appeared. Table for one, madam, he asked. Is it tasty? asked Blue Cow. The table is where you eat, madam. It is not what you eat. I shall get you the menu. Blue Cow sat at her table with a menu full of words she didn't understand. There's so much to choose from, she thought. What would madam like to eat? Something even more tasty than grass. That will be simple, madam. A wine, madam. Blue Cow made what she thought was a wonderful sound. <coughs> wine the drink, madam, not wine the sound. Oh dear, sorry. The food was soon on the table in front of her. It looked very pretty, lots of colours on a huge white plate. Blue Cow ate and chewed and chewed and chewed. It tasted mm, quite nice. Quite nice? This is the best food in the world, the waiter said. Tell me, where can you find better food than mine? In my field, replied Blue Cow, where I can eat lovely lush green grass all day long. <laughs> You'll never guess where I've been. Where have you been? I've been to a restaurant where you can eat lots of different things. Everyone knows cows can't go to a restaurant. But we know they can, don't we? Milton, you're sweet. Oh, I'd almost forgotten about that. Mm. 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 Delicious. <laughs> Quite unusual. Mm. Piquant. <laughs> but delicious. No, you've eaten, it was raw broccoli. You've just eaten raw broccoli. <laughs> raw broccoli? <laughs> Didn't know it tasted like that. Mm. I think I might have some more. <laughs> Milton, mm. it's oh. time. The dawn is upon us. The morning is nigh. We've eaten our broccoli. Mm. And we bid you goodbye. Mm. <laughs> Bye, story makers. <laughs> See you again soon. <laughs> <laughs>